Sustainable products have a higher price tag than conventional products and are marketed as premium goods. But in recent years, more and more people have shifted towards more sustainable purchasing. Consumers perceive premium pricing as value-driven. A higher price for green goods is acceptable when worthy social and environmental causes are offsetting that cost. With a steady trend towards sustainable purchasing, green products will soon take up considerable market share. In other words, green will become the norm, and you'll need to have strategies to keep prices for sustainable goods down to enable as many interested buyers as possible to take part. My name is Rosa, and I'm a content writer here at PriceFX. Let me walk you through seven ways that could help your business price sustainable products competitively. Quality over quantity. Scale back and curate your product mix to only include high quality products that customers will continue to come back to. Conducting market research to pinpoint what your customers value will ensure you invest in products that guarantee a return on investment. Conducting market research to pinpoint what your customers value most will ensure you invest in products that guarantee a return on investment. Streamline supply chains. Businesses can recover margins on sustainable goods along the pricing waterfall by cutting their supply chains in half and purchasing directly from the source. To use Trader Joe's business model as an example, the low-cost sustainable retailer does not work with any middlemen, buying straight from the manufacturer instead. Smarter packaging. If designed intelligently, your sustainable product packaging can be simpler to manufacture than traditional packaging. And the less material used for packaging, the more cost-effective it'll be, and the fewer items headed to the landfill. Energy-efficient operations. If your business operates from an office or involves production of any kind, it can benefit in the long term from using energy-saving alternatives in its lighting, heating, equipment, and other areas that could use a higher grade of efficiency. Reduced overhead spend. Reducing unnecessary overhead costs where possible, like limiting business trips requiring air travel or downsizing your offices to reflect a hybrid working model, is another way your company can lower the variable costs it can control and afford to be sustainable. Product differentiation. So far, differentiation within most companies' sustainable product mix is minimal, as that differentiation is usually limited to segmented prices for sustainable versus conventional products. Instead, businesses would benefit from having a more diverse eco-friendly portfolio containing a number of sustainable products at different price points that respond to different willingness to pay. This way, the no-frill sustainable products are affordable to most, and those who want a more premium buying experience can still get this. This avoids pigeonholing all sustainable products as something only an elite few can afford, which could turn off some of your potential consumer base and compromise your bottom line. Sustainable financing. Businesses don't need to limit themselves to their own resources to enable more affordable pricing, provided they use sustainable resources or have a proven commitment to mitigating climate change. Businesses can take advantage of support from sustainable finance, a type of funding from the financial sector that considers environmental, social, and governance factors in projects to help offset the costs of their sustainability efforts. Sustainability and affordability don't need to be mutually exclusive. And while you don't need to give up premium pricing of sustainable products, you should consider low pricing strategies in your product mix too. To learn more about low pricing strategies, consider checking out our article in the description below. Thank you for watching and happy spring pricing.